There you go. How <laughs> 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 uh, did I stock up on those for exactly? <laughs> 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 Hello there beautiful people, I'm PvP Skills, and today I'm going to be playing some Dark Souls 3. We're going to be using the gigantic rape axe that no one uses, so um, yeah. Shit. Unfortunately, the first guy that I'm running up against here is also using a leviathan weapon, so I'm probably fucked. Uh, I do have some of my normal retarded videos lined up, but I figured I would just make a video using a strange weapon. Um, when it comes to two gigantic weapons like this, it's just a, you know, a matter of who swings first. Like right there, he tried to do anything other than R1, and he paid for it. And I can probably soak up one more swing from him, so I'm gonna not get hyper armor, I guess. Now he's gonna sling paper airplanes. Wonderful. Shit. He is really fucking thirsty, though. He's just throwing out every uh, poke he can. Look at that shit. Throwing all the paper airplanes. Sir, do you not know that the rainforests are disappearing? Alright, I have no pity. Oh, shit. There we go. That probably looked like I, I had, you know, perfect spacing, but in reality, I just got really fucking lucky. Hmm. I'm gonna take off this um, this covenant though. I look like a really angry little tampon. So this guy's moving around the arena before I even spawn in. Nice. Our connection must be superb. Ten out of ten. All right. What's your name? Nameless soul. I'm gonna call you nameless shit. Welcome to Skid has a giant schlong land. Nameless shit. Ow. He's seen a skidonic video. Uh, it's if he's good with that Avalon, it's gonna be very difficult to kill him. That shit is really annoying. Okay. All right. He looks like a homeless Santa Claus. Just look at that beard and just look at that. Can't even swing at him. You fucking thought Rudolph looked strange. Just wait until you go back to Mrs. Claus and show her the giant cleaved asshole that you're gonna be sporting after this duel. All right, fire at me. I dare you. Do it. Okay. He decided to try and trade with me. Yeah, probably not. I probably thought I was going to roll away. But I'm I'm, I'm too stupid to roll away from that. Bammo. Well, I really wish this weapon's rolling R1 wasn't so useless. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Just like you bury the entire part of the axe all the way up to the hilt into the ground. Directly in front of you. Oh, here we go. He's dead. See you later. Put that shit in your stocking. I am the metaphorical Grinch. Alrighty. Okie dokie, let's see if this guy's ready for the holidays. Have you donned your gay apparel? He sure has. That might be the gayest apparel I've seen today. I'm a colossal asshat. Now, uh, for the people in the comments who get triggered by me being a tool to the people I'm dueling, I have two things for you. One, eat a shit. Two, remember that the D in Skidonic stands for dickhead, so take that for what you will. There you go. Now you see, he may have got flawless, but he was actually a really good duelist, because when you get flawless, you know you're honorable, and when you're honorable, you know you're so good you don't need to use the meta. Therefore, he was a better duelist than me in every regard. Alright. Make ready thine anus way of blue member you see it's a little known fact but every way of blue members phantom is actually chiseled out of jolly rancher candies and he's uh, using the dinner plate shield which is going to be extremely effective because you can totally parry a two-handed ultra great axe all right check out these sick parries okay you see this is going to be a learning experience for him and me i'm going to learn how to counter a katana's move set with an ultra great axe and he's gonna know what it's like to be fisted with the barb gauntlets alright I gotta I got find some way 
Most people haven't ever. Well, it's a good thing he's too chicken shit to stay out right on me. Man. Every katana user ever. Used the last little hint of stamina I had for that. If he had been smart, he could have stayed really close to me and punished me for... Or even taken the repost, but he's too big into running R1s. And back to You know what? I bet you he hasn't seen a rolling R2. Check this. Bamo. You're getting all the point downs. You see, most people haven't ever seen that thing's rolling R2 because most people don't bother with it, but it's actually pretty It's actually pretty good. What's that, three point downs? Nice. This guy's using a rapier and he's got a scythe on his back. I suppose you've heard of a mullet being business in the front, party in the back. Well, this guy's got annoying shit on the front and edge on his back. Alright, onion man. Take me to land. Oh, you fancy fuck. Check that shit out. Yeah. And yeah, he can try to take me to the land, but he'll never make me understand. Right. Trade with me, bro. There we go. Let's see if he runs. There we go. And you see the jumping R2 on this thing has a ridiculous hitbox. That mixed with lag, latency, whatever you want to call it, makes it really great for chasing people down. I do it all the time when I'm invading or ganking. If someone runs away to heal, you can do a jumping R2 and just completely destroy him. I can't see what this dingus is using because of the begin match letters. Let's take those off. Alright, a curved greatsword, so I imagine I'll be seeing running R1s exclusively. Alright. Alright, Darlow, get ready to have all your health taken out with two swings. There we go. Bammo. Oh look at him, I just fucking shocked him. He like stopped for a second, looked up at his health bar and gasped after that. May see what he'll probably do after being raped that hard, he'll probably revert to a passive playstyle and just use his running R ones. Alright. Ah shit, I didn't see him because of the end of the axe. Damn it. Hmm. He must be using the Karthus one because I'm getting a little bleed. Hmm. Wham. Wham. Bam. Shit. What I'm probably going to have to do is take my lock on off and then just spin around. Let's see. Damn it. If I could swing one more time, I could probably catch him off guard. I don't have any pine bundles to use, so I think just turning the lock on, the lock on off is my best option. Because I'm not going to get him with anything else. Alright, there's one. Two. Three. Say goodbye to your ankles, Darlow. GG. There's a couple strats for using the Black Knight Great Axe, I guess. Hello there. Would you like to know the lore of this line? It looks like he's... That's what he's doing right now. He's watching a lore video. Okay. Okay. Nope. Too late now, dickhead. Ew, if only I had a hornet ring. Shit. Ow, that really hurt. Look how much damage. All the damage. Nope. I think she meant to cast a spell, but accidentally just did the little buff. I'm not sure. Best dueling, 10 out of 10. Really took me to task. Really, really challenged me. Alrighty, what do we got in here? Ah, shit. We have min maxed armor with the Valor Heart. Wonderful. And for those of you that don't know what min maxed armor is, it's basically the best combination of armor in the. Shit. It's, it's basically the best combination of armor in the game when it comes to damage to weight ratio stuff. This guy, this guy probably just went over to Fextra Life and looked up best armor combo in DS3. And the Valor Heart, the reason I don't like it is because it's just kind of annoying, but, you know, it's whatever. It's better than the Karthus, I guess. There you go. He chose to swing at me. That was a mistake. Right, come on, min-maxed man. Show me what you got. Shit. Eat shit. Oh, there we go. The paper airplane was his downfall. I feel no remorse.
Actually, I do feel kind of bad because I know for a fact that guy that guy just went over to Fixture Life and looked up what the best armor combo was just to get a little edge. Alright, Grasshopper, show me what you got. Alright, the Crystal Buffed Katana. That means he'll do a little bit more damage than a normal Katana, and he probably sacrificed a lot of his health to be able to put that buff on. His internet's also incredible if you can't tell. The teleporting its a really solid strat. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, let's we'll go for a rolling R2 attack, so I know he's not going to knock me out of my hyper armor. There we go. Alright, oh, I feel kind of bad actually. We'll make him feel like he was a challenge, there we go. We give him a clap in a battle, that's, sig that, that's more honorable than just a clap, I think. I'm not really up to date on what people in, on Reddit think about honor at the moment. Well, that's it for this video. Remember to rate the video, comment down below, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and if anybody's interested, I have a Patreon now, so go give that a look if you're interested. So, uh, yeah. See ya. I'm the trouble star.